How's it going? David Crandall with another FL Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create music, specifically MIDI music, with your computer's keyboard. Now, you, this the same stuff applies if you have a MIDI keyboard, like a Casio or a Korg MIDI keyboard, something like that, a USB keyboard or whatever. Um, but I'm going to be using my computer's keyboard. Now, to enable this, you have to make sure that this typing keyboard to piano button is selected. What this does is it allows you to play MIDI instruments using your computer. So I'll go ahead and select this kick drum. If I hit something, see I'm hitting the B key on my keyboard. Again, if I select the clap, hi-hat, snare, and then this bass. Now, in pattern one, I've got this pattern, and it goes a little bit like this. Okay, so I've got that pattern on my playlist repeating five times. And what I'm going to do is create a bass line. And I'm going to be using the Mini Moog bass. It's called a round bass. Um, and by the way, Mini Moog is a free VST with tons and tons of presets. Um, and it's really, really nice free, easy to use, very, very low on CPU usage and everything, so it's it's a great, great download. Google it, you'll find it. Awesome, awesome, awesome plugin. So anyway, I've got this round bass right here. Sounds a little bit like this. Okay, so I'm just messing around on my keyboard here. Um, but that's the round bass that I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do to, to record this bass line is I'm going to switch over to song mode. I'm going to go to pattern 2. And I'm going to right click on the record button and make sure that score is selected. Now what this does is it records everything that I play on the keyboard and puts it on the piano roll. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my playlist. I'm going to hit the record button and I'm going to record a little bass line. There we go. Small little loop. And now you can see right here, pattern two, here's the bass line. So I'll go ahead and play the pattern by itself. that's it. Now, there are some timing issues. I'll go ahead and play play it with the drum beat and you'll be able to hear it. So you can see there's some timing issues. To fix this, we're going to quantize it. So what I'll do is I'll hit Control A. I'll pull up the piano roll and I'll hit Control A. It's going to select all the notes. I'll go up to this arrow here. Go to Tools and click quantize. Now this quantizes the entire thing and quantize basically means to correct the timing. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it as it is and hit accept. Now I'll go ahead and give it a listen. Now from here I can actually go ahead and tweak some things like the length of some of these notes. Um, like this note here I feel like it should be a little bit longer. So I'll go ahead and lengthen it a little bit. Lengthen both of these. And there we go. very very simple and what's great about doing this in song mode is it can be as long as you'd like as long as you've selected a different pattern so if you want to record to a pattern 
that's very simple to do as well. I'll go ahead and go back to pattern one. Make sure that round base is selected by clicking on the green spot or by clicking the instrument. I'll go ahead and click record. Or wait, no. I'll make sure I'm in pattern mode. Now I'll go ahead and click record. And when I click record, it's going to click off eight times instead of four. Okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. Again, there's some timing issues, so I'll open it up. Control A, Tools, Quantize. And there it is. Baseline complete. And if you can, you know, you can choose any instrument to do this. Um, you can even record the kick drum. You can record the clap. You can record the hi-hat, the snare, anything you want. And that's all there is to it. All right, my name is David Crandall. This concludes this FL Studio tutorial. I hope that helps you. It's not too confusing. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, I'm always looking for tutorial ideas. And if you're confused about anything with this tutorial, please let me know so I can clarify it for you. Because I really, really want you to be able to use FL Studio seamlessly without any... I want it to be second nature for you. That's the goal with this. I want you to know FL Studio like the back of your hand. That's how it should be. So anyway, my name is David Crandall. This is the FL Studio Schools channel. Um, and until next time, have fun making music.